Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will talk about the role of parents uh, in doing homework. Dennis Pope and her colleagues ran a research at the Stanford Graduate School of Education and found too much homework can diminish its effectiveness and can even be counterproductive. Their study found that too much homework, one, is a primary source of stress, two, causes health problems such as headaches, exhaustion, uh, sleep deprivation, weight loss and stomach problems. Three, gives the kids less time for friends, family and extracurricular pursuits. It cuts down on productive family time. As the stress level uh, increases, fights begin, which takes away uh, from any quality family time. Not having time to go outside, play with friends or just chill could take away from the milestone experiences of childhood or adolescence. Um, I'm going to refer to Vicky Hoffel's uh, website here. You can see her picture here and the website. Uh, related to homework and parents, she has asserted that the homework is not your problem and the only one who can learn to fix homework issues is your child. The teacher is who your child can turn to for homework help. If you want to uh, visit her website and learn more, uh, you can see the uh, address here, okay, uh, and I have also taken this uh, from her website. Um, it is a, a statement by Rick Ackerley, and it reads as, when you care about it more than your child, it absolves the child of responsibility. Homework should never be more important than the child. Now we know that some parents love homework. Maybe they just want to have something to keep their children busy so that they can rest uh, for a while after a very busy and tiring uh, work day. Well, more concerned parents love homework because they believe that homework will uh, increase learning and the academic success of their uh, children or child. And uh, they also believe that doing homework will increase the sense of responsibility and self-discipline. If that's the case, they should be taught how to support their child. Having a one or two hour teacher-parent conference may save the teacher one full year of struggling with the misconceptions and wrong beliefs about language teaching, learning and parental pressure and doing homework. Another poster from uh, Wiki Huffle's uh, website, Homework Police, unless you want that job for 12 years, quit now. Here is what parents can do. Now establish clear communication channels with teachers to get help when necessary. If the child needs help with the homework, if the child doesn't understand what to do, um, or if the child missed that class, these um, communication channels should be open uh, so that parents or the child can reach the teacher and get some help. They should help their child make a plan. Now, children and adolescents need a break 
and maybe some physical activity after school. They may also need some food or snacks or some beverages, okay? Um, they may need to break the assignment into doable, uh, smaller pieces because not everyone can concentrate on something for more than 10, 15, 20 minutes, okay? Parents can sit down with uh, the person, the, with the pupil, to plan their time after school. This is a good activity for time management. When the plan is set, parents need to remind their child to stick to the plan. They can also give the child something to look forward to once homework is complete, um, such as um, watching a favorite television show or playing video games or making phone calls to their uh, friends, you know, anything that the child, in, uh, well, that the person, I should say, because I'm not talking only about young ones, I'm talking about all students of all ages. Something that they like doing, you know, so that will be like, something to look forward to. When I'm done, when I finish my homework, I can always do that. Parents also need to establish a fixed place or an organized study area in the house so that the student uh, can do the homework or do any related reading uh, without uh, too much distraction. Uh, and we also need to make sure, as parents, uh, need to make sure that the student or the child has all the necessary materials to complete the assignment. It may be, uh, I don't know, a ruler, uh, a scotch tape, um, coloring pens, whatever. But they need to have the materials because otherwise they will be distracted. Mom, Dad uh you know uh, big brother big sister i need this i need that and then the concentration will be gone we also need to keep distractions to a minimum uh no tv loud music or phone calls unless it is homework related okay now i know some people like love having some kind of background noise but it shouldn't be too loud because then the, the 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 student the person cannot concentrate on the work okay parents need to be a motivator and monitor they should be available for questions and concerns but they should never take over. They should praise their child, uh, their work, their efforts. Uh, and if they have, for example, any um, job related work to do, or uh, a book to read or make the monthly budget uh, for their own expenses, they can also use the same time. And they can be a model for their own child okay you're studying i'm doing my work you know so we are on uh, the same activity uh, as parents we need to avoid being overly intrusive or controlling uh, we need to make sure that uh, the child uh, do uh, th does their own work. They won't learn if they don't think for themselves and make their own mistakes. Uh, we can all, as parents, we can always make suggestions and help with directions, but never, never take over. Never say, "Let me do it. Let me write it." It's not done like that. You know. Um, K. J. Del Antonia says. Home should be a safe place for students. A child goes to school all day 
and they're under stress. If they come home and it is more of the same, that's not good for anyone. If you want to keep quality, if you want to have quality time as a family at home, you should stop, uh, well, you should, as a teacher, help parents understand that homework is not their responsibility. Helping their children is, but not the homework itself. If the child doesn't feel like doing the homework, and if the child has a very good reason for that, maybe they feel a little bit too stressed, uh, a tired or maybe not well, then parents should be able to accept it, okay? Rather than scolding, creating a negative atmosphere uh, at home. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye.